CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... It is said, is neither angel nor beast. Therefore, he can play either role with equal facility and even felicity. Perhaps that is why there are times when the best of us suddenly become the worst of us. And the worst of us, the best of us. And does anyone really know why? You will propose on the floor of the United States Senate that the United States return at once to Mexico... The states of New Mexico, Arizona, California, and Texas. Are, are you crazy? What makes you think I would do such a harebrained... Senator, I have some documents here. Uh, documents? And pictures. Uh, p- uh, p- uh, pictures? Are you going to make that proposal? Well, uh... <clears throat> uh, let's uh, discuss it, uh, shall we? Our mystery drama, The Defectors, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan and stars Fred Gwynn. It is sponsored in part by True Value Hardware Stores and Buick Motor Division. I'll be back shortly. With that one. Wasn't it Miss Jane Austen who said, one half of the world cannot understand the pleasures of the other half? Yes, it was. And she might have added, nor does it approve of them either. The French, who have a reputation for liberality in these matters, have an expression, chacun a son goût, which roughly translated means whatever turns you on. At any rate, it may be safely assumed that more people are laid low by their joys than by their sorrows. A case in point? Let us consider Luther K. Hotchkiss. Why did he suddenly resign from the Senate? I have found that the world, as that great poet Wordsworth said, is too much with us. Getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. <clears throat> Therefore, Marguerite and I have decided to spend our golden years in blessed retirement from the ceaseless cares and vain striving and seek the sweet simplicity of nature. I thank you. Ah, oh, come on, Senator. Level with the people. You won't tell the truth? Very well. I will. It began late one night last year. Oh, he was so cute. And adorable. And wonderful. Uh, how about exciting? Mm. <laughs> and didn't we just have a marvelous time tonight? <laughs> I guess there's still a lot of life left in the old man yet. Oh, man. Why, how could you have a fellow's half your age? They're nowhere near it. Uh, now, don't tell me that. Oh, but it's true, sweetie pie. Is it ever true? <laughs> uh, all right, Chicky. Uh, what do you want me to buy you this time? For nothing, Angel Face. Nothing. Nothing? No, practically nothing. <laughs> such as? Well, I'm still in apartments out of the circle. No. But it's such a cute little... No. But why? You know why. Oh. Don't you have a lovely apartment now? But it's nowhere. How could I give you an apartment, Chicky, down at the circle? But that's where all the action is. <laughs> How long do you think it would be before everyone found out about us? Hmm? <laughs> Ruin. Ruin and disgrace. But I get so lonesome all the way up there near Arrow Creek. Well, that's why I bought you this car, so you could get around. Get around? Where? When? I have to be home every single night in case you get an idea you want to see me. I'm sorry. I I know it must be dull for you. It's just, I can never make any plans. Well, I can never make any plans either. You think I'm free to come and go as I like? Oh, I'm going to cry in 
in a minute. No, no, I'm serious. I'm chairman of the most important committee in the Senate. The committee to settle overdue claims arising from the Mexican War is the most important committee in the Senate. You have no idea of the work it entails. Oh, I know the rest of the speech by heart. And in addition to everything else, it's an election year. But what are you worried about? You can buy your way in again as usual. I do love you, Chicky. You know that. All right. Say you love your... Archie. I love you. You're angry. Oh, leave it go. What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, why are you slowing down? I don't know. Put your foot on the gas. Well, what do you think I'm doing? I mean, I mean, step on it. I got the gas down to the floor. Then, then why are we stopping? I, I don't know. Pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over to the side. What do you think I'm trying to do? What's wrong with the car? Well, how would I know? Uh, when was the last time you had this car in for a checkup? I... I don't remember. You don't remember? Oh, yes, yes, I do. The, the fellow said something about a, a new transmission. <laughs> ah, this is fine. Just fine. Stuck here in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, at least you've got to admit it. It's romantic. <laughs> Suppose we're seen here together. Uh, tell me, don't you ever worry about that? No. No. Well, why should I? You do enough worrying for both of us. We simply cannot be seen together. I'll tell you what we have to do if someone should stop to pick us up. Uh, you, uh, uh, you'll just have to... Oh, have to what? Uh, hide. Hide? Yes. Yes, it's the only way. I'll go off with them and, uh, you stay here. By myself? It will just be for a little while. But here, alone? And as soon as I get to the city... Oh, alone? I'll hire a car and come back for you. You must be crazy. It's better than running the risk of my being recognized. Who's going to recognize you out here at night? Uh, hmm? Listen. Listen, that's a car. It's slowing down. Uh, I'll get out. You... You slump down on the seat so he won't see you. What's him doing? Having trouble? You keep out of sight, Chicky. Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> car seems to have, uh... Did you lift into the city? Chicky, get down. Why, sir, that's really nice of you. Oh, I didn't see the lady with you. Oh, well, uh... uh... Aren't you a real nice guy to help us out like this? Well, you do what you can here and there along the way. Well, hop in, folks. Uh, the, uh, the car. Maybe someone should stay with the car. Oh, I don't think anybody will be along here this time of the night to bother the car. You folks are sure fortunate I passed by. Uh, we all set? Yes, I happen to be coming home from the ball game. Hardly anyone uses this road anymore. How come you were on it? Uh, uh, we were, uh, lost. Oh, it's easy enough to do that. Just as soon as you get into the city, there's a all-night service station. A uh, Frank, uh, drop you off there, okay? Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, fine. You from around these parts? Uh, no. No, no, just passing through. No, I thought you were because uh, I noticed the D.C. license on your car. Oh, okay. uh, it's a uh, rented car. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, I didn't think so. Uh, it doesn't have a rental car type of license plate. Uh, 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 maybe it's a special situation of some kind. Yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, we're not even from uh, the United States. Oh? Where are you folks from? Uh, we're uh, from uh, uh, Mexico. Oh, really? Oh, it's not you. Yeah, you, you could have fooled me. I, I was, uh, I, I was thinking... You look kind of familiar. I I do. I'm I'm sure I've seen you someplace before, but I, I just can't recall where. Why do you look so familiar? Oh, lots of people look like lots of other people, you know. Yeah, I I, I guess so. I mean, I'm always being mistaken for somebody. Still and all, your husband does remind me of. Oh, oh, he's not my husband. Yeah, oh, he, he's not. No. Oh well, no, I'm. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Oh, it's perfectly all right. Uh, she's uh, she's my uh, uh, daughter. Oh, well, uh, excuse me again. 
I guess she must look like her mother, huh? Her, her mother? Yeah. Well, why do you say that? Well, because she doesn't look anything at all like you. Uh-huh. Did you notice that? Uh, uh, remarkable, isn't it? Uh, actually, she, she doesn't res- resemble either of us. Oh, is that a fact? Yes. Yes, it's, it's one of those rare cases. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Very rare. Uh, my name is Milrose. John J. Milrose. What did you say your name was? Uh, uh, Torgan Brother. I beg your pardon? Uh, Torgan Brother. Amos Oswald Torgan Brother. Oh. Well, didn't, didn't you say you were Mexican? No. It seems I heard you say that you were... I, I said I come from Mexico. Oh. It's a lovely country. Uh, hmm, uh, how far are we from the city, anyhow? Uh, no more than a half an hour. Uh, half an hour. I didn't hear you come in last night, my dear. Uh, the meeting ran late, Marguerite, dearest. Oh, poor darling. You do work so hard. Uh, one must do one's duty. Well, shall you be home to dinner this evening, precious? Uh, this evening, no, I'm afraid not. Oh, that's too bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. I wonder if the people appreciate how much you give of yourself. Oh, probably not. It just isn't fair. My dearest, uh, one doesn't do these things for appreciation, uh, but from a sense of duty to one's state and one's country. That committee work does take so much out of you. Uh, if only you knew how much there was to do. Uh, well, shall I wait up? I, I don't think so. Uh, we're having hearings, you know. At night? No. Well, you see, these are mostly poor people, and they uh, work during the daytime. Oh, of course. Uh, what shall you be doing this evening, my dear? Oh, I'll read a book. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Uh, reading. Now, that improves the mind. <laughs> well, my dearest, I must run. Oh, so early. Ah, one labors early and late when one is the tribune of the people. Tribune of the people. I rather like that. Well, goodbye, Luther. Goodbye, dear. You're the perfect wife. I try to be. I'll call you sometime during the day. Oh, that'll be nice. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, my dearest. Goodbye, my dearest. Goodbye, my darling, my dearest darling. Goodbye, my darling, dearest darling. Goodbye. Hello? Oh, hello, my darling, my dearest darling. Marguerite? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, yes, it's Marguerite. Milrose. Yes, it's Milrose. He won't be home this evening. Shall I see you? The usual time. The usual place. I can't wait to see your adorable face. (laughs) Why, that rhymes. It's a poem. Oh, love is a poem, my darling. Then let us sing another verse tonight. Symmetry, balance. They do form the cornerstones of art, do they not? Balance the opposites equalize the equation. Or, as it has been stated in somewhat less elegant terms, what sauce for the goose is also salad dressing for the gander. We have some more seasoning in store for you just as soon as I return with Act Two. Sigh no more, ladies. Sigh no more. Men were deceivers ever. One foot at sea and one on the shore. To one thing constant, never. Yes, it's true, as the bard put it, about man's propensity to deceive. It is, however, neatly matched, if not actually exceeded, by woman's. Milrose, oh, Milrose, you do love me. You know I do, Marguerite, honey. Oh, but I'm older. You know what age is, Marguerite? It's a sauce that makes a woman so much more delectable. Oh, you're such a delightful flatterer. But it's true. Milrose. Yes? 
Why should you want to flatter me? But I'm not. Is it because my husband is a senator? What would that mean to me? Could you... Are you hoping that I could be used to influence some of his decisions? Let us, for even a moment, assume that that is true. What decisions does your husband make? Well... Suppose a person wanted to influence a senator. Would he pick Senator Hotchkiss? Oh, then it is love. Love. Yes, my darling. It's love. <laughs> Even though it confounds all logic and reality, I... I do believe you. Believe me, dearest. I believe you. Now, look at me. I'm, I'm kind of a dumpy little woman. Pleasingly plump. Oh, my hair is turning gray. I wear glasses. It's the light. The light that shines from within. Who would give me a second look? I did. Who would know to look at me? Of the passion that surges within me. I would. <laughs> oh, what a fire you have kindled inside me, Mill Rose. Oh, excuse me, darling. Hello? Uh, Marguerite. Oh, Luther, dearest, is, is anything wrong? Uh, there's a large envelope. Envelope, Angel. Uh, on the table near the telephone, sweetheart. Oh, oh, this one, precious. Uh, from the photographers, baby. Uh, I see it, treasure. This magazine is doing a whole spread on me. A magazine? Oh, darling, well, which one? Uh, well, uh... Oh, darling, don't be modest. Well, it, it's the Undertakers and Cemetery Managers Monthly. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, publicity is publicity. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Uh, would you look at the photos and tell me which I should have from you? Of course. I... I know you'll choose the most flattering. Oh, my darling. You're so handsome and distinguished looking. No picture could possibly flatter you. Uh, uh, pick the best one and call me back. Of course, my dearest. Uh, what are you doing with yourself right now? Oh, reading. Ah, uh, what? A book. Uh, is that good? Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't really gotten into it yet. Yeah. Uh, call me as soon as you can, darling. Oh, I shall, my dearest. Oh, excuse me for just a moment, Miss Rose. I have a small chore to perform. And, Dolly, perhaps you could help me. Yes, certainly. Now, you see these photos. Which of them do you suppose does the senator the most justice? Well, I would say... Uh-huh. Well, what is it, Miss Rose? Torgan Brother. I, I beg your pardon. Amos Oswald Torgan Brother. Whatever are you saying? Oh, uh... Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing at all. Ah, it's you. Come in. You sent for me, Comrade Snapper? Obviously, I sent for you, Comrade Muro. Otherwise, you would not be here. True? Well, yes. Perhaps. You have been too long in this country. Too, too long? While you have acquired the splendid American accent, you have also picked up so many typically American irrelevancies of speech. I'm sorry, Comrade Snapper. I have summoned you here to ask you a question, Comrade Miro. A, a question? Can you tell me why you should not be brought home, where you will either be shot or sent to one of the mines high up in the Arctic Circle. But why? You have failed in your mission. I, I wouldn't exactly say I have failed. You were assigned to subvert Senator Luther K. Hutchkiss. Yes, I, I know that. To make the Senator decide that the states of California, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona are legally in the possession of the government of Mexico. I understand that, Comrade Snapper. To have Hotchkiss introduce a resolution on the floor of the Senate to have these territories restored to their legal and rightful owners. Yes. And to convince him that he must conduct a one-man civil buster to that effect. I know, Comrade. Not that it would succeed, of course. But the publicity... And the embarrassment to the United States government. I'm aware of that. And what have you accomplished so far? The seduction of Mrs. Hotchkiss. She's a very interesting woman. 
as the people of our beloved country sent us here to abuse ourselves with women? No, Comrade Stafford. No, not, not exactly. I, I thought I could learn certain facts about... Hmm. Well, that would make it possible for me to put pressure on the senator. No, citizen Milrow. I'm afraid to have failed. But all I need is... Citizen Milrose? <laughs> have I just become... Citizen? I'm afraid so. But I... Unfortunately. Oh. And you will prepare for return for your trial. But come, that snapper. I, I have just come into a n- new piece of information. Oh, have you? A vital piece of information. With, with this information, we can transform Senator Hotchkiss into putty in our hands. You're not saying this just to gain time. Oh, no. We will own Senator Hotchkiss. I hope so, Citizen Milrose. For your sake, I hope so. You're a million miles away somewhere. Well, I... Uh, oh, you can tell your little sweetie all about it. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about my wife. Your wife? If she found out about us, she'd divorce me. And the folks back home, uh... Oh, will you worry too much? Isn't it just fantastic? Come on, let's dance. How can you even think about dancing at a time like this? Well, What's wrong? Well, can't you see that I'm worried? About what? What have we been talking about? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Suppose they find out about us. Oh, that. Yes, that. Oh, come on. Give your little chicky a nice kiss. It'll make you feel better. It always does. The chicky. Chicky, suppose they find out. Who's they? You know, they. The great they. Well, who's going to tell them? Yeah. That fellow, uh, the, uh, the fellow who picked us up last night, uh, Milrose. Uh, oh, is that his name? You mean the one with the wavy hair and the bright blue eyes and the cutest little dip on his chin? Uh, I, I don't remember exactly what he looked like. Oh, I didn't get a good look at him either. Suppose that he recognized me. But he didn't. Uh, I'm not too sure. He kept asking those questions. He was just being friendly. No, 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 no. I, I, I tell you, I think he suspects. Well, then... then... What can we do about it? You, you, you ruined me. How? I, I, I've been telling you how. He knows. I, I tell you, he knows. Kitty, I will not be blackmailed. But you don't even know the he... I won't stand for it. I'm Luther K. Hotchkiss. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I know. Uh, before I permit him to ruin my career, I, I, I'll... You'll what? I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, come on, Hutchie. Let's dance. What the heck is that? What are you doing in my car? I'm sitting in it. I, I can see you're sitting in it. I know you. I would guess so. You're the... Hey, listen, you're, you're the, you're the fellow who... Milrose. That's right, Senator Hotchkiss. Oh, what? Who? Uh, 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 Senator Hotchkiss? Uh, what Senator Hotchkiss? Uh, I, oh, I'm, I'm afraid you have me confused with... Uh, 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 my name is... Uh, uh, What'd you do? Forget your name? Of course not. No, it's... Uh, it's... Uh, 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 Buttenberger. You mean you changed it since last night? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. You said it was Torgenbrugger. Uh, and that's what I said. Uh, from Mexico. Canta, canta, parajito. Que tu cantar, alegre corazón. What? Oh, come on, admit it. You don't speak a word of Spanish. And you've never been to Mexico in your life. Uh, what do you want? Well, uh, that's better. Uh, come in. Sit down, Senator. Who are you? That's a good question. I suppose the best way to put it might be to say that, sir, uh, I'm an enemy agent. A what? You heard me. But you don't look like an enemy agent. You, you, you don't talk like an enemy agent. Uh, what do you want? 
I want to stay in this country. But you're an enemy agent. I'm not a bad fellow at heart. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're my only hope. Only you can keep me here. Do you understand? No. I'm such a small and unimportant enemy agent. And we have so much in common. What could we possibly have in common? Well, you're such a small and unimportant senator. You, 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 you shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. But frankness should be the basis of every valid relationship. Who says we're going to have a relationship? You might just as well make the best of it. I refuse to have anything to do with you. I want to help you out. I'm asking you in a nice way. All you're giving me is abuse. Okay. From now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy. From now on, it's all business. You're going to do as I tell you or else. Or else what? Or else the whole world, starting with your wife, is going to find out about Luther K. Hotchkiss and Miss Chicky Paradise. No. No, you wouldn't. Furthermore... A special mailing will be sent home to all the voters in your state. No, no, no. I, I, I... Well? Uh, uh, all right. All right. What do you want? We know what he wants. We've all been privy to his instructions. We know what Senator Luther K. Hotchkiss is supposed to do. But will Luther do it? Is there a way out? What can I say? Only this. The third act, as usual, tells the tale. And it shall be upon us in just a few fleeting minutes. I could not love thee half as much, said the poet. Loved I not honor more. Well, so far, we seem to have quite a bit of love in our story. But now... For the first time, honor is about to make an appearance. Well, if you think we're going to have all sorts of philosophical discussions on the nature of honor itself, forget it. We're going to let love and honor battle it out with absolutely no holds barred. Are you... Are you crazy? You want me to introduce a resolution that would return California, New Mexico, and Arizona... To Mexico and Texas. You forgot Texas. But that will be the most ridiculous speech ever heard on the floor of the United States Senate. Don't flatter yourself. I won't do it. Then you force me to become the heavy. Uh, no, no, just a second. I shall make known the relationship between you and this tricky paradise. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead? Do your worst. I'll uh, deny it. You will? I'll claim it's a plot. And uh, after all, it's only your word against mine. We have pictures of you with Miss Paradise, taken in various places and uh, poses. You, you don't. And this apartment. Way up here in Arrow Creek. You signed a lease for it. Why? Do you live here? I, I... You'd better think about it. More coffee, precious. Uh, no, thank you, my dear. Uh, did you have a nice time last night? Oh, it was work, work, work. No peace for the weary. You mean no rest for the weary. No peace is for the wicked. Which reminds me, you had a phone call from the uh, party whip. I did? Yes. It seems uh, you're going to ask for the floor tomorrow. He wants you to check with him. Oh, uh, he does. Well, I, I guess it's standard procedure. He, he'd like to know what you want to bring up. Oh. Darling, I didn't know you intended to make a speech tomorrow. Why didn't you tell me? I, I'd like to be in the gallery. After all, it'll be your first speech in 18 years, actually since you've been in the Senate. Oh, well. Uh... And word getting around is taking on all the status of an event. Everybody's going to be there, including the media. Now, what are you going to talk about? Uh, well, these days you have to be associated with a cause. 
All the famous fellows in the Senate are always being associated with something. They all have a pet project. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, do you have one? Uh, Most of the good ones are already taken. Oh, that's true. But uh, let me try one on you. uh, For size. All right, dear. Uh, Suppose I... I introduced a resolution to give uh, California, New Mexico, and Arizona, and Texas back to Mexico. Why? Why? Well, well uh, Oh, they'd laugh you off the tennis floor, dearest. Uh, you think it's crazy? Oh, darling, you don't have to make speeches. The real reason the folks at home send you here is because there's never been even the slightest hint of scandal about you. Uh, well. Our home folks are kind of funny that way. They'll excuse just about everything except the man who cheats on his wife. And I feel that way myself. I would never have anything to do with such a man. It's absolutely the worst sin a person could commit. Don't you agree? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, completely. Oh, uh, yes, Senator. Uh, what can we do for you? Uh, well, Colonel Ferret, uh, I've come here to the Secret Central Investigative Bureau of Federal Intelligence for advice. Yes, sir. This is for a constituent of mine. I understand. He thinks. Uh, he is being blackmailed by an enemy agent. Yes. Well, so all he has to do is identify the alleged agent who will then be arrested and brought to trial. If found guilty, he'll be sentenced according to the law. He, uh, he wasn't thinking of it that way. You, uh, that is, uh, he wasn't? No, uh, because in that case, I, uh, that is he... Uh, would have this damaging evidence presented at the trial. Well, what were you, uh, that is, he thinking about? Uh, a quiet disposition. Uh, which means? Which means a discreet uh, disposition. Hmm. And how do you, uh, that is, he suggest this be done? Well, I, uh, that is, he. Uh, he's positive that you folks have your special secret technique. Such as? <laughs> Colonel Fellas, uh, do I have to spell it out? Of course, of course. Otherwise, I have no concept of what you're asking us to do. I, uh, 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 that is my friend, wanted to inquire as to the feasibility of eliminating... This most dangerous and obnoxious person. But my dear Senator, that's against the law. We could never entertain such proposition. But this enemy agent, he, he's a threat. Well, then let us by all means bring him to book. Uh, that way I, uh, uh, that is my constituent, uh, will be ruined. Uh, it was never easy to be a patriot. Uh, 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 I see. You know, Senator, speaking of for you, as it were, between us, get me off the record, if I may. Uh, by all means, Colonel. If I had a problem, mm. uh, that is a uh, completely fictional, uh, non-existent, hypothetical problem, you see what I mean? I think so. I would settle it myself. Yourself? I wouldn't tell her so. Quiet. Mum's the word. There can't be a slip from a button clip. See? I uh, see. So, settle it yourself. But, uh, but I don't have any experience along those lines. Uh, there's a first time for all of us. I recommend a rather large caliber for a beginner. Oh, but I, I, I don't know how to. Then take lessons. Lessons? When you want to learn to play the piano, you take lessons. Learn how to dance, you take lessons. But uh, where can I find someone who will teach me? Look in the book. Nadelle, this is a 45 caliber revolver. 
Uh, yes, Monsieur Latour. You inserted the cartridges, so? And now you are ready. You hold the pistol in your right hand. No, 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 no. Lightly, softly, tenderly. And you squeeze. You squeeze the trigger gently, softly, as if it is in the hand of a woman you love. Then, sudden... Oh, my foot! Oh, I... Just... Oh, I'm sorry. Do not trip off my foot. You must not close the eyes when you fire. Oh, uh, uh, let me try again. Try again? Am I the cat that has been nine lives? Try again? Uh, I'll do better, I promise. Do better? One needs the suit of armor when such a maniac as you are going to... I'll take careful aim and, 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 and then and then... Uh, was that better, Monsieur Latour? Uh, Monsieur Latour... Uh, uh, monsieur? Uh, just, just a minute. Why, oh, Senator Hotchkiss. Are you, uh, ready for tomorrow's speech? May I come in? Uh, certainly. Well, uh, offer you a, a drink? No, thank you. I can't afford one. You what? I'm afraid it'll spoil my aim. Oh, hey. Uh, what, what's that? What does it look like? That's a pistol. Uh, then why did you ask? No, no, hey, hey, no, no wait, Senator. If I wait, I'll lose my nerve. Don't move. No, no, but listen. It's I, all I can do to hit a target that is standing... Please stand still. Why do you want to break the windows? See, that base was an antique... You know how much that mirror cost? Uh, I, I, I guess I just can't hit anything. Uh, the gun is empty. I, I only counted five. I, 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 I think you have one left. No, 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 no. Don't look down the barrel to make sure. Oh, it doesn't matter. Why do you want to kill me? Because I can't get up there tomorrow morning and make a fool out of myself. Who was making all that noise? Chicky. Oh. What happened to this place? Something. What are you doing here with him? Well, uh, you, you see, the uh, letter uh, talk. Well, Hatsy, you know that I was really in love. You're in love with Milrose? Yes, Hatsy. But, uh, oh, but I thought you were in love with me. Oh, I love you, too. But uh, how, how can you... Leave? I love you because you're so dignified. I love Milrose because he's so strong and young. Young? And he has a thickest wind of his hair. But when he gets to be my age, you may not have any more hair than I have. Oh, but that won't be for 30 years yet. And he dances. Oh, he dances divinely. Stand back. I said, what are you going to do? I still have one bullet left in this revolver. Oh, Hutchie, please. Do not point it at Milro. Let him. It's the only way I'm sure of not getting hit. Hutchie, what, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? Thank you, Chicky. I, I see it all so clearly now. I am going to resign from the Senate. You, you mean you're not going to make that speech tomorrow? I will get up and deliver a speech of resignation. No, no, you, 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 you can't do this to me. I'll be sent to the mines. No, you won't. You don't know Comrade Sapper. You won't be sent anywhere because you're going to defect. Defect? Why not? I'm defecting. I'm giving up a job that's too big and too much for me. Well, it, it was your idea. Didn't you say you were such a small and unimportant agent and that I was such a small and unimportant senator? I, I mean... It's the truth, isn't it? All that these jobs can do is get us into trouble. Right? That's right. You're right. Tricky. Tricky. Will you see that he doesn't get into any trouble? Oh, I'll keep him so busy. Right now, the leaves are turning red and gold. And the trout <laughs> are leaping high in the sun. There's the everlasting snow on the top of the mountain. 
shining purple white. Hello. Hello. Mama. Darling. You haven't called me Mama in 18 years. How would you like to go home, Mama? Oh, Papa. I thought you'd never ask. for all kinds of jobs. And all kinds of people are hired, appointed, chosen, or elected. And sometimes, lots of square pegs get pushed into round holes. And vice versa. But in the long run, it doesn't matter. Somehow the work of the world always manages to get done. Or does it? We'll reflect further on this issue when I return shortly. You cannot imagine, said the philosopher, a circumstance or a situation more startling, strange, or bizarre than those that have already occurred in the world of reality. As we review many of the happenings in our little tale, what appeared to us originally as unusual, offbeat, and exaggerated seems now only conservative and everyday. Life, as usual, is larger than art. Our cast included Fred Gwynn, Bryna Rayburn, Bob Caliban, and Ken Harvey. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.